Sudden road work in a North Dakota town came as a surprise for people, but the mayor says it'll pay off in the end. Here's Robert Sir. The town of New Salem may have under a thousand residents, but those residents should expect it to be impacted by a major infrastructure project. That project got underway last week and is expected to last for the next couple of years. With progress comes sacrifice, and we all have to sacrifice. We're going to have to, you know, we're going to have to be able to be inconvenienced a little bit. That's the main message New Salem Mayor Lynette Fitterer wants her residents to understand as the city begins a multi-year infrastructure project. The project is split into several phases. One expands the town's water lines from four to six inches to help with the water demand. Several streets are also being resurfaced to go along with the water line replacement. We're getting a jump start on this. You know, compared to a lot of other smaller communities um, who haven't done anything with their projects for a long time, we feel that we've really got to jump on this. And this phase uh, that we're looking at behind us right now, this is just the first phase. Money for the project came from USDA loans and federal grants. Voters also approved a 1% sales tax increase that went into effect on the first of the year. She tells me the last thing they wanted to do was raise property taxes. In lieu of assessing property taxes was to add a $20 adder to the water bill. And so over the course of a year, people will see that they're shelling out an extra $240, uh, which will go directly to this project. People I spoke with told me while they're not especially happy with the work, they understand the need. It's a mess and it's dirty, but when it gets all done, it's going to be good. A lot of streets are getting in bad shape, you know, but that's been how many years too already since I did those, so that's you know, fine with me. But Fitterer tells me they're just trying to stay ahead of the curve. When you drive on the streets, that's a real indication of what your city is doing. If your, seat, if your streets look terrible and, and they look broken and everything, um, it's not very appealing to people who want to come here. She says bids came in cheaper than expected as well, leading to more phases and more projects for the town of New Salem. Robert Sir, KX News. The mayor says they hope to have phase one done by mid-August. Then planning for phase two can begin.